$62,000, the new all-time high for Bitcoin. However, soon after we saw a lot of exchange inflow, meaning that whales were dumping back on the market like they usually like to do on Sundays going into Mondays. So now the question is, are the lows of the week in or is there further downside? Will we see 60K again this week? All that and more coming up. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to take you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Also guys, make sure to hit that like button. And if you have a question about anything that we're covering today, drop it in the comments. Alrighty guys, so it was a wild, wild weekend. Right after we put up that video on Friday, basically we took off, we broke above that uh, all time high. I hope you guys caught that trade because I definitely gave you guys an entry for this trade. And we set a new all time high up at $62,000 for Bitcoin. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trades that we gave you, right? So the first trade that I gave you guys on Friday's video for the weekend was a breakout above 50 what was the breakout above $58,500 which was right this more or less around around there right and you see the clear breakout there with a whole lot of volume and that basically ran us up all the way above 60k um, right to $62,000 if you guys would have entered that trade using the 10x leverage like we do you would have done 60% profit on that trade in ethereum we had more of the same remember we spoke about this on friday's video guys um i told you guys this was a bull flag and it was preparing for a move to the upside right we compared this side to this side right here and i said i expected a similar break like it did here and guess what happened there guys we saw the same exact breakout now we didn't go all the way to 2k uh, but we ran up to about 1950-ish, that that area right there. So if you guys would have taken our $1,800 entry there, uh, you would have done about 38.5% profits if you guys use 5x leverage like we did. All right, if you guys miss Mondays or Fridays trade setups that we gave you guys in the videos, do not worry because today is Monday. And guess what? What do we do on Mondays, guys? We give new trade setups for the week. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's go ahead and take a look at the market. As you guys can see today, everything is pretty much red. There's not really much that's green. We do see a V chain over here up 20% today, uh, but it's only up 23 on the week. And then we see Cosmo Atom as well up. But uh, for the most part, everything is red today. Bitcoin is down about 6% in the last 24 hours. Uh, but it's up over 10% in the last seven days. So of course we had a big dump last night, as you guys can see, after we hit this uh, new all time high, we set a new all time high at 62,000. There was a lot of profit taking there, which led us back down to that 55 to 54 K range. So if we pull up our tool right here to see how far that rejection went, that was about a 12% drop from the all time high, which was about $7,400 or so um, at the bottom of this drop. Right now we've seen a bounce back up and we're currently around 11% down from that all time high. Right now we've seen a rebound and we're up to about only a 9% drop now from that all time high. So we've gained a little bit of it back. Now, last night around 12.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we did update our trade group that there was a lot of inflow into the Gemini exchange and that there was definitely downside risk from well dumping. If you look at the time here, uh, we're more or less right around that $60,000 range at the time of that. So you guys can see here around 12 a.m. We're still up on the top part of this. I believe when I checked the price of Bitcoin, we're at that 60,300 level. And soon after that, 
Remember, these are four hour candles. So soon after I set I sent that is when we had this huge drop off all the way down to that fifty four thousand dollar range. So this candle was between 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. This was between 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. So there was a huge drop off during that period. And then after that, we've been just kind of holding there. As you guys can see, we're at the exact support basically that we saw here. You can see there we had that support there. And remember the bottom of this range right here, that's exactly where we dumped down to. So that is a support there. Remember $55,000 range, that's gonna be a good support for Bitcoin that needs to hold. If we were to fall below uh, 55,000, then the next level that we're looking at, it's probably around the Fibonacci level here. So as you guys can see this level here, there is a whole lot of price action on those levels. So that would be the next range that we're looking for, for support. And if we continued down below that, we could see a test of 50K to 48K range. So how did I see this inflow coming into the exchanges from Wales uh, before prior to this dump? Well, it's pretty simple. I was following and I always follow a uh, crypto quant. They're basically a analytics uh, company that follows all the analytics and tracks all, all analytics for Bitcoin. And one of the more precise thing that it's been following that's kind of been able to somewhat predict whenever there's going to be a dump is the all the all exchanges inflow right so what does inflow mean that means when the amount of bitcoin transferred to all exchange wallets right so that's coming out of private wallets into an exchange wallet so now why does this information matter because when the bitcoin is in a private wallet that means that they're just holding and they're not looking to trade it when they bring it out of their private wallets into the exchange wallets that means that they could be cashing out taking profits trading it for other things and stuff like that so as you know gemini is you can connect your bank account to it and they also provide solutions for institutional investors so whenever there's a lot of bitcoin transferred into a gemini wallet it's definitely a cause for concern and as you can see when that happened when that transfer happened we were still at that sixty thousand dollar range which is exactly where i notified my team and soon after that is when we saw the big dump off down to 55 54 thousand dollars so that was as you guys can see here a 10 percent drop after that signal now it doesn't mean that this will always happen and this will always be accurate but it's been pretty accurate uh, as far as whenever there's been a big notification here as far as a big inflow into the exchange. So you see the inflow there. You see an inflow here on, on March 6th and there was a small dump off there. You see another inflow here March 4th right before the dump off as well. So it's been it's given you a, basically a heads up before any type of pullback in the last couple months or so, which is why we've been uh, using it just to kind of give people a heads up it whenever we see it or whenever we come across it. So do I think this is a bearish case scenario for Bitcoin? Absolutely not. Guys, we just hit all time highs. Uh, there's no reason to panic. This is a pullback. As you guys can see, we were oversold here um, anyways and this resets the RSI back into neutral territory. If we look at the daily, you see that we set this new high now, you know, surpassing the previous one. So we've completely crawled back after we gave you guys the reversal signal. Remember guys, we gave you guys a reversal signal out of this pattern a few months ago. Um, I'm sorry, a few weeks ago. And just like we said, guys, it took us all the way back to new all time highs. Not only did it take us back to all time highs, but it took us back almost perfectly to what our target was. So remember, we gave you guys this target right here. Remember this. The way that we got that was that was the range of the bottom of Bitcoin here and the top of its peak. And then we simply moved that that over here. And that's the exact number that it gave us, which is pretty accurate, right? So we told you we put we placed that at the breakout level and this is the target that it gave us which was almost 100 percent accurate right which is insane it gave us 61,000. it was around 61,800, right and we ran up to 62,000 and got that's when we got rejected so that was pretty scary accurate if you ask me 
Now we just got to wait and see uh, what happens with this pullback. When it comes to day trading, it's it's always a little bit riskier when there's pullbacks like this. So if you're uh, day trading anything, make sure that you have that you're man managing your risk. You don't want to be putting too much risk on these uh, on these uh, bounces because they could be traps. So like we said, the support here is going to be right around that 55K area, which is exactly where we bounced. And then that next support is going to be back down at this Fibonacci level, which is right at that 52k area in ethereum we're pretty much right back to where we were on friday so it gave us a little reset but remember we told you guys to be patient here that this was a bull flag and that we were expecting a breakout sooner or later to just be patient and that's exactly what we got there so that was a beautiful beautiful bounce off this support and breakout of a bull flag which ran us up all the way to 1950 uh almost got us back to that 2k level as you guys can see here it was almost the same exact pattern that we told you guys and it played out perfectly right we we got the breakout the exact breakout that we spoke about boom Boom. So we got um, and it got rejected almost at the same spot. The only difference was that um, it continued up because at, you know, during this time, Bitcoin didn't pull back yet. This time, Bitcoin pulled back a little bit uh, earlier. So that's why we got this part of it before. But um, we should be testing it again because I think we're still early in this move. As long as Bitcoin holds and doesn't pull back further then we should be going up to 2k you can see here that we pulled right back to the same support where we bounced off last time so uh that's definitely a good uh spot to buy here that's that 23.6 percent fibonacci zone there so it's looking good everything's looking good here above this level right here so that's at 1720 to 1730 range that was also if you guys bought on that pullback amazing buy because that's that's the spot right there that you wanted to buy on the pullback remember we gave you these ranges on friday as well for any pullbacks we wanted to enter there at 1720 to 1730 and ride that up to the 1800 level so of course guys not as much info is needed in ethereum because as you guys know it's mostly correlated with bitcoin whatever bitcoin does ethereum is going to do so we don't need to you know do a super deep dive into ethereum but next we're going to talk about the trade setups that we're going to be watching this week i recommend you guys to pay attention and write these down guys because the past couple months we've been hitting almost every single trade setups that we've given you guys so i know that's what you guys are probably waiting for so let's jump right in before jumping into it make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel make sure that you're smashing that like button and if you have any questions about anything that we're covering today drop it in the comments we're always happy to help you guys out all right guys so the first thing we're going to look at is bitcoin as always the first thing that we're watching here is for this pullback entry. The only entry that we're watching that we really want here is at 55K level. So it did hit that earlier. If it hits it again, if you see something like this again, where we go just under 55K and then bounce right back over it, that's where you guys want to buy. That's what we're looking. We're looking for that entry right there for some sort of test of the of these lows and you know a shot back up that's what we want to buy we want to enter that bounce back above 55k so um the next entry from there is going to be probably above i would say that 58k so 57k you can use it as an entry i'd be only risking about one percent or less if i'm entering there 58k is gonna be a little bit safer but again it's it's still kind of risky because it as you guys can see it was it was a previous all-time high and so we had some price action there so the safest might be just above that all-time high so above fifty-eight thousand five hundred dollars um that's probably gonna be the the safest bounce to play so you can set up your entries above that fifty-eight thousand five hundred level if we break that again we can expect to see uh 60k again if we break 60k again we can expect to see 62. so that's basically um the entries that i'm looking at there above 58 500 
above 60 and above 62. Those are going to be the, the three different breakout entries that I'll be using and I'll be entering. And then for the support entry, I'm looking at that 55 K entry. If we were to go lower for any reason, then 52 K is that next number that I'm watching. Guess what we're going to do in Ethereum guys. Guess, just take a guess. We gave you this, this exact same setup last week, Monday and last week, Friday, and they both hit. So why are we going to try to reinvent the wheel? Let's stick to what works and what works is that entry above 1800. Yes, we've had two fake outs here recently, but I'm still going to use this entry. This entry, if we finally get the breakout above um, this 1800 level, look at what could happen. Look at this. Look at this big, beautiful, juicy green candle of profits all the way up to 1900, right? So I am definitely taking uh, this entry above 1800. Um, the next entry would probably be above 1880 around there and any support. So if we're looking and we see more pullbacks here, we're using the remember the same entries as here, guys, we're using that 1720 to 1730 area for a support entry. We want to catch that on the bounce back up, not on the drop down. And that's pretty much it. That's simple enough, right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. I know uh, it's been a crazy few days. We had the super pump up to new all time highs and then we had a big dump off pullback. I mean, it's only a 12% pullback, right? That's not that serious. We see way we have seen way worse than that this run already. So uh, I'm not too worried about it, guys. It's kind of brought us back into the neutral territory and this pullback is needed to continue up. So make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure to smash that like button for me. And if you have any questions about anything that we just went over, drop it in the comments. It's a new week. There's new profits to make this week. So let's go ahead and get that money, guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. As always, peace and love.